Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic, and today it's all about up, up, and away. Today there's a bit we need to get done. I want to try and travel a little bit today. Um, so for that, I'm going to need some armor. I am pretty bare bones at the moment. Like, I have nothing on me at all. Um, the only thing I have going for me is a nice drill uh, or mining laser. Um, I went ahead and pulled out all my chest here, and I, I have my chest now si uh, situated here, and I sort of have a inventory sorted, uh, or have my inventory sorted up a little bit over here. We have, like, our wood and, and stuff over here, even though plant stuff is not supposed to be over here. We got plant stuff in here. There we go. Um, so, yeah, i I done a little bit more mining, not too much. I did get, uh, found, like, two more uh, veins of diamond while I was mining, uh, and then I decided I'd, I'd probably stop. Um, but we need to make some armor. I kind of want to make a better sword as well. So we should be able to do that with just, I just want to upgrade to iron armor for right now. There are a lot of different irons, uh, a lot of different armor sets in this pack. So we'll have to figure out what is going to be a good armor set. What was that? Ooh, it's like a, a candle. It's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get our regular armor. And then I'm also going to make a sword. But I'm going to make the sword out of the moonstone that I ended up finding. Because I thought this was kind of cool. I would actually like to make a moonstone uh, set. Full armor set. Because I think that would look really cool as well. Um, it's all it's all dependent on how things go. So let's get our armor on. We're all ironed up. I think we look pretty good. Let's go ahead and drop our other stuff in here. So there are a couple other things that I want to get done today. Like getting a jetpack so we can travel around. Uh, if we get lucky and find an Enderman, get another Ender Pearl, that'd be great. I want to test out this Apotheosis, um, this lead. I want to I want to see if I can actually pick up villagers with it. That would be amazing. If we can pick up villagers with this lead, which kind of like picks up uh, the animals and kind of stores it inside of it, that would be amazing. That would make villager hunting and moving transport oh, way easier. And villagers are really important in 114. And we're going to get into those very soon. Also, I want to make this. So first of all, we can probably just make that right now. This will be a generator that basically runs inside of our inventory. We need a little bit of cobblestone. We're going to need some iron. I don't need, I don't think we need too much other than that. Just redstone, a little bit of iron, and we're good to go. So let's make a furnace. And then we need oh, we need two furnaces for this. So we need a furnace for our main inventory survivalist generator. And then one for the main generator. Perfect. And I don't know if these are going to be energy efficient or not. I don't know. And I think that you have to put the uh, stuff in them uh, at first. I, th I think there's upgrades for them. Okay, so that's on. Yes, and we can throw the coal inside. That turns it on, and you can see it's starting to charge. It says hit I on the keyboard to change, but I think that there's a keybind that I'm going to have to kind of change to, to have the charge mode on or off. Okay, so no, the I, in, I works. It just doesn't prompt you or anything. So it says charging mode off, and if I hit I, it does change to charging mode on. Okay. So charge mode is on and uh, it is currently charging, I guess. It says charge is at 42. I don't see that number going up uh, as it uh, should though, which kind of has me wondering if that is a broken mechanic. I feel like that probably is, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's it's going anywhere. It's not charging up the internal buffer like it's supposed to. Anyways, with that being said, I still need to get myself a jetpack as well. The jetpack actually is not too difficult to obtain. Just a bunch of iron and redstone. So we have a lot of redstone. We have a lot of iron. So, and even if we run out of iron, we have even more iron that I mined up uh, that we can always have cooking. So let's just see how much we're gonna need. So each one of these is we're gonna require three and then that's four. So four, basic coils in each thing here and then so four five six seven 
So we need seven basic coils, really? No, that's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need eleven basic coils here. So which means we're gonna need a couple sticks. Just a few. So eleven basic coils, and then we're pretty much ready to go with the jetpack. Look at that. Eleven perfect. We had just enough resources for that. Okay. And then the leather, I think I have enough leather from uh, killing just a couple mobs. I have a chest over here. Break these down into some nuggets. And then we can rock the uh, leather strap. Everything else is wood, as far as I know. We need, how many of these uh, cells do we need? We need three for the battery, two for here. So five total. Don't want to mess that up or we'll have to make some more iron and then we'll make the battery or capacitor sorry it looks like a battery looks actually it looks like a lego brick and then each one of these is going to require some stone okay oh you know overall this is not going to be a bad jetpack to make it seems you know very reminiscent to other stuff it is iron jetpacks it is a very primitive version of its of its past self that is for sure. All right, I want to see, is this going to charge? It is. Will it charge here as well? Okay, so it is. So it is charging our jetpack. Um, and I'm guessing we, we have to figure out the key binds. So if we go to options, controls, we can search iron jetpacks under category. And it says jetpack engine is V to turn on. And then G would be to hover. What is actually taking the place of G? Settings menu. So we can we can get rid of that. And I guess that's the only other thing that's uh, changing things. Iron jetpack V. We're good to go. So G would be hover. V would be to turn the engine on. Okay. Oh, we're already out of power. So let's turn the engine off. Oh yeah, this thing is definitely going to have to get a better charge. So we can throw it in here. That definitely charges it up a lot faster. Whereas this thing is really slow at charging it up. But it should last a good while. I mean, that is decent for what it is. I mean, quite, quite fast. I mean, that's, that's a pretty decent speed on the travel. I'm not going to complain there. That's, that's actually pretty, pretty fast. I could probably take the charging station with me. Um, I don't know if breaking the charging station removes the power. Oh, we have to have a pick to do this. Ooh, let's use our new sword. Look at that. Almost... Two full swipes killed that thing, and I bet if we were to jump, it would actually do even better. So yeah, we still need a regular pickaxe because we can't actually break this. <gasps> I threw my furnace in there and it consumed my fur. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh no. So now that that craziness is over, I ended up making myself another inventory generator. Oh boy, I need to watch what I do because I yeah, some things I guess can be consumed. Um, so I'm going to wander around. I'm actually going to head directly in this, uh, this way. We do have a map mod in here. I should probably set our home location on the map mod. I think I can hit B and I can type home. And this right here will, uh, will show us what dimension everything is in. Confirm that. And we'll have a marker that shows up here. And if we hit our map, we actually have a large, or hit M, we have a large map here. Um, so we should be able to, to kind of get a good idea on where villages might be um, as we start to move along. I'm going to head off in this direction. It does seem like a pretty interesting place. And of course, our jetpack, I'm going to use it sparingly as we don't have a lot of juice in our jetpack. That's for sure. So I'm definitely going to use it, uh, use it a little sparingly. So this is actually perfect because... 
as I was ending up over here, you can see we're just a little ways away. I should be able to take some of the wood that we have, make myself a boat. Oh yeah. And we're gonna set sail. The good thing about 114 is there's shipwrecks. There's all kinds of goodies in the water and the water mechanic is so nice. Ah, oh, we should totally be able to do this. Also, we need to grab some of this while we're here. Um, I will grab some of the kelp. It is really important that we get some of this because later on, some of the water elevator mechanics, even though this isn't vanilla, it's modded, we're still going to be able to utilize some of this stuff. And uh, I want to see how we can incorporate mods into it. Right down here is some of the things I'm kind of looking forward to. Um, so let's hop down here. We should be able to swim there. Oh man, there's gonna be a lot of drowns. There's a lot of drowns. Oh, one of them has a trident. Oh boy. All right, let's go up. Let's go up. Back up. Yep, there's a lot of them. I wasn't expecting the trident guy. Oh, we could die really easy here. Look at all of them. Oh boy. We gotta get to our boat and quick. I forgot to bring a shield. Oh, look how close he's getting. Ooh, let's get out of here. Okay, maybe we'll be better if we find normal shipwrecks. I don't think we're armored up enough to go after that guy just yet. Ooh, look at that. We got an ice biome over here. Really nice. I, I actually wonder. You know, how cool would it be if we actually found the fortress, or not the fortress, the uh, the end portal, uh, the end dungeon, just right away. That would be crazy. Sometimes they spawn underneath these things. So this is an interesting biome. There's a lot of wolves here. But what is this hill thing over here? This thing is like perfect. Is it just an actual structure? Oh, there's oil. That could be useful. Is that just a dirt hill? Am I just going crazy? I think it's just a dirt hill. It's just a regular dirt hill. It looked really, it, it looked intriguing when I was over there. So we still haven't found a village. Wandering through this forest. What in the world are you? Oh, did it jump at me? It like turned its butt at me. Whoa, it is, it is coming at me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Which side's your face? I don't know. It's it's trying to hit its butt on me. Oh, no. We, I can't afford to die right here. What is that? Chitin. All right. From Druidcraft. Okay, that's like bug parts. Ooh. We can make helmets and stuff out of this. All right, I need to turn off my engine here. I'm hoping, are we still cooking? Okay, we're not. It still didn't charge, man. It's kind of a bummer. I'm, I am taking advantage of like killing any cows that I come across because this is gonna be the perfect, perfect way to get a lot of uh, food resources pretty early. Also, I'll take some of this mossy as well. So I'm ready. I see a couple of Endermen here. Whew. All right, we're gonna go after these guys. Let me try, and hopefully we get an Ender Pearl. This sword should do a little bit, a little bit more damage than the stone one that we originally had. All right, come on, guys. All right, no Ender Pearl from you. No Ender Pearl from you. What a bummer. Sometimes I get really lucky with Endermen. Sometimes I don't. Oh, there's another Enderman. Let's run. Hurry. Oh no, it teleported. Will we get an Ender Pearl from this guy? We're gonna get a zombie. Oh, we got an Ender Pearl. Okay, that's great. That's great. That's good news. Okay, okay. Alright, I'm getting I'm getting away from this guy. I think we should head back. Um, I ended up finding some Endermen. I'm still not quite uh there on the uh the whole finding a village thing but uh we're gonna we're gonna definitely find a village i just need to go back to the base recharge and go in a different direction 
and maybe take a look at the map and see if there's a village that I potentially might have missed. Okay, uh, on my way home, floating fish uh, with purple flames coming out of it. I don't know what to do. Uh, kill it? Must kill it. What in the world? It was like a... That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. I want to get out of this forest. So now that I'm back, I need to make a lead. Uh, or not make a lead. I need to grab my lead. I do have it in my tools chest. Which is... This one? Right here. There we go. There's our lead. Um, I have an ender pearl that we just got. And then I was waiting on the gold. Awesome. Let's go ahead and craft this ender farmer's lead. Perfect. And uh, let's see if this works. I, I want to see what this does. If it does it teleport? Does it pick up the mobs? What does it do? Um, that's something that I'm not familiar with. So it's just going to be a trial and error. I'm learning with you guys. So we have some pigs over here. Let's hope it doesn't kill them. <laughs> I prefer not to kill pigs. And... Oh, wait. It's not... Uh, it doesn't do anything. Or at least... Is this only for mobs, maybe? That would be weird if that was the case. It says Farmer's Leash. Am I doing it wrong? I'm right clicking it on mobs. It doesn't seem to be functioning. Hmm. I am such a dummy dumb, but I wasn't expecting this to be how it functioned. You punch it, that captures it, right click to place it. And this does have some durability, so I want to save it, because I only want to use this on capturing two villagers, and then I do not care. We can do whatever we want, but capturing two villagers is really what I want to get done with this thing, if I can do it. If it lets you pick up villagers, I really hope it does. Uh, that would be a lifesaver if it does. Held entity, it does say entity, so it could possibly mean any entity. Oh, this this could be it. By the way, I'm, I'm cooking up some more iron um, because I'm hoping that I can upgrade. Let's grab some cobblestone because I also need to get some cobblestone. I want to upgrade our jetpack. This one is pretty much useless um, in its current stage. I mean, it is really, really useless and we need some stone. Um, it does look like that um, this could also work. Some granite, maybe? Instead of stone, it is a form of stone. Um, so we can upgrade it to stone and then... I, or would you upgrade it to copper? Hmm. I don't know. We don't... I don't know if we have enough copper to do this. I mean, it shows going to copper to stone. But yeah, copper is definitely better than stone. Stone would be our next stage. I don't know why the staging is kind of weird with that. Uh, it could be the, the way it was numbered. But stone technically should be our next go up, even though it shows that wood is the next go up for copper. Huh. Kind of weird. Same goes for this. Bronze instead of iron. I guess it's because of just how the things are in here. Hmm. The bronze. Let's see. Bronze, no. Copper, though. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, I didn't even count that. So we probably need about a stack of copper or so. Do we have that? No, we definitely do not. So I'm going to upgrade to iron. That's going to at least double the amount of time that we will have. Or I'm going to go with stone. I just figure that that's going to, yeah, that's going to completely increase the amount of time that we're going to have. I guess we'll have to... I don't know what this upgrade's from. Bronze? It goes to iron. Okay. Which is definitely doable as well. Hmm. So I think I'm going to head this direction. And boy, this jetpack goes a lot faster. And we're moving, man. And I'm still... I'm looking for a village. I also brought uh, my recharger. So that way I could definitely make sure that I have a, a nice charge on everything. We should, Maybe we'll find something that's Plainsy Biome? We totally should. I'm really hoping. I don't know how the Biomes of Plenty affects villages. But it'd be really nice if we found a village. Oh boy. This is 
Yeah, we have to find a village. That way I can use that inner tether. We got to grab two villagers, so we might have to come back. Um, but it'll be well worth it. Well worth the trip. Perfect. So I, I expected to find a desert biome, but I wasn't expecting to find a mesa biome or the, the badlands. But we ended up finding a village, which is perfect. Now we can test and see if this thing is actually going to function or not on a villager. Otherwise, I'm probably going to get punched by this guy. Um, yeah, okay, so that didn't, that didn't work. So he can't pick them up. Oh, man. I was really wanting to be able to pick them up. This guy didn't even notice I punched them. Okay. Well, at least we can get in our bed and sleep for the night. And I'm going to go ahead and raid this village. At least we know where it is, and I'm going to mark it on the map. So we can come back here with a nether portal and do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, because I don't know... If there's going to be any other way. By the way, there's an Enderman over there. Hmm. Is there a good way that I can do this? This is like what it's what I've come to do. Anytime I see an Enderman. Alright, pig. You got to get out of the way. Yep. We just, we always, we're always going after Enderman. Ender pearls are really important. Oh, nice. Another Ender pearl. Perfect. And there's a lot of farmland here, so I'm going to probably gather some of that up, and I'll just do some looting. So the good part about looting these villages is you never know what you're going to get. You can get a lot of food sometimes when you uh, when you loot these villages. Oh, wow. This, Or you can find a bunch of books, which is always a good thing. Um, we definitely want to take some of these. I don't have an axe on me. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I have this. I can just laser this thing. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. It's. I was wondering, maybe... I, I didn't know if any of these villages had been changed or anything. These guys are definitely trading stuff, though. Feather falling. And the the rates are higher because we punched them. Um, which is very unfortunate, but... You know, we'll have that fixed later on. So we can't actually break that with a... Anything that has to be... I guess anything that has an inventory... Cannot be broke this way. Needs to be broken with an axe or another tool. Hmm. Can hay bells. Oh, yeah. Oh, it breaks it so fast. Hay bells take so long to break, but normally. But this just does it, like, almost instantly. Oh, sand is too. It's really quick. While I was here, I noticed these pools of lava. I figured maybe I could potentially get this to make some, uh... Not cobblestone, but obsidian? There we go. That'll get that'll make some obsidian there. And how easy is this going to be to mine it? Okay, so it's it takes about the same amount of time as a diamond pick. Actually, it seems a little bit faster. And of course, did that just burn it? I think it just burned that. That was pretty quick. It'd be best to pour it on top. I mean, in all honesty, is there a way for me to get water on top, or is this all on the same level? I feel like it's all on the same level, and I don't have a bucket on me, unfortunately. So since we found out that uh, we can't really pick up the villagers, I think we're going to have to come up with a clever way of moving villagers from the village to our base so we can breed them, because they are very important in 114. And even though we still have mods, doesn't make them any less important in this playthrough. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If I can't get my tongue twists out of my mouth, I'd really appreciate it. And also, uh, like I said, make sure to click that that uh, that thumbs up button because uh, these cows over here, every time you click a thumbs up button, we get more and more of them. It's just it's kind of crazy how that's working. Anyways, guys, I hope to see you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,